Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Sequoia. If you are new, welcome. So today I have for you my first luxury bag unboxing. Well, not really an unboxing because I have already opened it, but I have my first luxury bag that I want to share with you guys. And I also want to give you a few tips because I was able to save $400 on this bag yes $400 on a luxury bag so I wanted to give you guys my tips my tricks and a few little hacks on how I was able to save money but still invest in a really good bag so if you want to learn how to save hundreds on your first bag then keep on watching this mini unboxing I'm going to show you the bag I'm going to show you how it was packaged when I ordered it from Selfridges because maybe some people don't know exactly that experience versus buying it from the actual retail store so when you order from Selfridges it comes in their own shipping box and on the inside it says Selfridges here at the top and it comes with a cute little dust bag that your package actually comes in with some other padding and then you get the actual box which I think is great because that was one thing that I wasn't sure I was going to get since I didn't actually order it from the Saint Laurent website so you get the dust bag and then I also put the authenticity card and everything that came with that I just kind of left this here inside of the box yeah you basically get everything I think overall if you're saving money and you still get all of the same essentials that you would get if you were to buy it in the store then I mean that's a win on its own all right and then this is the toy Lulu bag I absolutely love this I think it is such a gorgeous classic bag it looks stunning the quality is amazing it is a bit on the smaller side but for my personal preference this was a great bag for me because I don't like big bags I don't like tote bags I don't like really heavy bags on my arms I prefer wearing cross bodies for the most part so this was a perfect item for me to invest in as my first luxury bag but if this is something that you were considering I think that these tips that I'm going to share with you guys are definitely going to be helpful regardless of the kind of bag that you want to get but I think this is perfect it has just a beautiful stitching you get like this kind of a Y effect here in the back and in the front you have their classic YSL logo you get nice slots on the inside so you have two sections to put your items and you also have card slots as well and i'll do some close-up shots so you can get a better look at what's going on inside of the bag but i think overall this is like a stunning perfect go-to first bag at least for myself and the fact that i was able to also save money on that makes it an even better investment okay so the first step that i want to share with you guys is pretty standard this is something that i think applies to most things if you're like an avid shopper like myself and that is think of your daily use so think of this purchase like you would anything else in terms of how often are you going to wear it will it go with multiple items in your wardrobe is this something that you can see that's going to stand the test of time it's going to have longevity and overall does it fit your lifestyle so for me with this bag purchase 100% check 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 it ticks all the boxes because I know that this is something that I'm going to be able to wear with multiple outfits because it is your classic black color I love neutrals so this is just one of those pieces that's going to be able to go with everything I definitely think that because we do have social media we have Instagram and we see all these different kinds of bags they're trendier bags they're classic bags there's so many different styles it's a little bit overwhelming when you see so many different styles and you're not exactly sure what you want to go for so your personal style definitely holds a lot of weight here because that's going to be personal to you this bag is personal to me in the sense that it fits just my lifestyle it fits my style in general and I know that it's something that's going to be a value to me so it was worth investing that money in because it's not going to be something that is going to break on me in a couple of months it's not going to be something that I find it's just going to get tattered and destroyed like many other bags that I bought from just your regular high street brands I've definitely had to keep buying black handbags by that time you might as well just invest in a good bag right so I definitely think that this is one of those pieces that it's just going to stand the test of time so definitely look at that when you're going into buying your All right, so my second tip is going to be a bit subjective this really just depends on your budget your finance and that is know how much you want to spend know how much you can spend and try not to sink too much into a trend especially when you're going in to buy your first designer bag i think it's probably best if you're going to spend thousands of dollars on a bag invest in something classic invest in something timeless something that is just going to be a staple that you're going to be able to hold on to or even something that has like a special memory attached like you'll always hold that value with your pieces so i definitely think that's an important part of it because thousands of thousands of dollars on trends and all of these different things it's not going to stand it's not going to stand the test of time and it's not going to be a good investment for you 
or um, the piece that you're wearing, especially if it does go out of style and you want to resell it, the chances of you getting a really good return on that investment aren't that great. Right? And this just being the classic bag that it is, I definitely think that it's going to have that value. I don't see a bag like this going out of style because it just has a classic effortless look. I just recommend doing your research, you know, looking around, seeing what bags are trendy right now, see what bags have either been revamped over the years or maybe has their classic baguette that has been revamped into like this current decade but either way whether you go vintage or new like that style that classic monogram print like that's something that's going to overall stand the test of time and hold it all right so i'm sure you guys are like okay can we get to how you actually save the money so this is how i managed to save 400 dollars on this bag so it wasn't easy I, I had to be patient so definitely if you don't have the patience and you're you're more of an impulse buyer, which I'm not saying is a bad thing because I definitely, I definitely do that too. But I'm just saying this is one of those things that you're going to really have to do your research on. So search everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I literally mean everywhere. Obviously on secure, verified sites, like don't go on your AliExpresses or your DH gates. Like, no, you're not going to find that bag you're looking for on a site like that. But what I did when I was looking for this bag was I did my research. I researched just YouTube videos in general just to get other people's opinions about the bag, but I also did a lot of searching online. So I searched different websites from Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, um, Saks Fifth Avenue, the St. Laurent site. Like I literally searched every single site imaginable to see what the bag was going for, who had the best price. Because I saw that the bag price went up, I wanted to see whether or not there were older versions of this bag that were selling for a little bit less. Like there are just different ways that you can kind of look into seeing where you're gonna get the best deal. So that's where I started and I was able to go on Selfridges and see that at the time that I was thinking about purchasing this bag, they had it for $1,015. And I was like, okay, the bag's going for like $1,250 everywhere else. This is probably 90% chance I'm gonna buy from this site. So when I did that, I did wait a couple of days before actually going and buying it. And then stroke of luck, I don't know when or how this happened, but the bag dropped an additional $30. So I will have everything linked in the description box below because they are selling it on the site for $985. So yes, I was able to pay $985 plus shipping on this bag. Once I saw that it went down, I wasn't sure if this was like a glitch in the site, if it was temporary. I didn't know what it was. I didn't see any sales going on. So I just went ahead and bought it because I figured this is the best that it's going to get without having to buy secondhand. So I figured go for it. So definitely do your research and search the shit out of the internet because I tell you, you never know what you're going to If you're looking to buy your first luxury bag, I also suggest, I also did I can't say that. <laughs> I also suggest checking your secondhand places, real, real. Macari, Poshmark, anything like that because a lot of the times you can find people s selling items that they've never used before. They have the box, they have the dust bag, they have the authenticity cards in places like Poshmark where you get authenticity or you get free authentication over $500. I don't see what's the harm in looking for something that you're wanting that you can potentially buy secondhand that is going to get authenticated anyway. If it had, especially if it hasn't been worn. So that's just another thing that I did. I was lucky enough to find the best price on an actual website that I was really comfortable with purchasing from. And then you don't have to spend so much money on like having really good quality pieces. That's one of the things that I like to put out on this channel. Like I love, love a good sale, especially when those items are something that you already know that you're gonna be wearing all the time. So you're investing in these pieces anyway, but if you can get it for a sale, why not? I have no problem with that. I think it's like one of the best parts about shopping is when you can really find something you love for a really good price. So yeah, I think that this bag is just one of those pieces that I'm so, so excited about. I love it. I think she is the cutest, cutest bag. I really don't like big bags. So some people might say like, oh, I don't know, it's really small. I'm not sure. But I think that it's just a perfect size, like I said, for my lifestyle. And my first tip, think about how you're going to be wearing it. Yeah, it's just all about fitting your lifestyle. I think the biggest takeaway of all is just making sure that you're investing in those pieces that you know that are going to stand the test of time for you personally. So that's basically it for the tips. Now I'm going to show you guys what can fit inside of this bag if you're interested. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you're going to be using any of these tips. This is a bag that you've been looking for and you're super excited that it's actually out there for a really good deal. So go ahead and let me know that and let's go ahead and get into what can actually go inside of this bag. All right, so let's get into what actually fits inside of the bag. I don't carry a whole lot of stuff with me. 
but I'll show you some of the details again. So this is the inside of the bag. Fits a lot of stuff, but I don't tend to carry a lot. So this is my wallet. I will eventually get the matching wallet, but for now, this is just a little one that I got from Target. And it's nice and thin, so it fits perfectly at the front. And then what I also carry a lot is, this is one of my old Ipsy bags. This is one of the ways that I keep my bags from being too cluttered. So what I have in here, I usually just keep like my Guadarazzi. I'll keep like a pen, my charger, so that I always have chargers with me. And this will kind of just tuck right, right here, oops, right here in this little back pocket. And it kind of fits perfectly, but I prefer this than having like the ground inside of the bag. Obviously, you know, we're still doing this. We're still staying clean. So this is my Purell all natural hand sanitizer. So I make sure to stick that right at the side. We've got ourselves a chapstick rollerball that I will carry around with me. And that also fits nicely in there right behind the wallet. And then right with that, my iPhone. This is just the iPhone 12 Pro. This is the biggest one. But I think the bigger one could fit as well. And that's pretty much all I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. And as you can see, snap closure perfectly and it's not too bulky or anything. It's still nice and petite and it's not too heavy. Yeah, that's everything that fits in this bag.